So let's suppose we have the following example. A certain loudspeaker experiences simple harmonic oscillation at a frequency of 300 Hz. Now, the amplitude at the center of our loudspeaker is given by this quantity, 2 times 10 to the negative 4 meters. And suppose, at initial time of t equals 0 seconds, the oscillations begin at y equals a, where a is our amplitude. So, in part a, what equation describes the motion of the object as the object oscillates? In part B, find the maximum velocity and the maximum acceleration of our oscillating object. And in part C, find the position of our object at time equals 3 seconds. So let's begin with part A. So because we are told that the loudspeaker, our object, is experiencing simple harmonic motion, that means we have to use the following equation, the following general equation to describe the position of the object with respect to time. So x of t is equal to a multiplied by cosine of this quantity, where a is simply our amplitude, it's the maximum displacement. The cosine of this is simply where this is our angular frequency given in radians divided by seconds. This is the time, and this is our phase angle. Now, let's begin by drawing, by graphing our equation on the xy plane. So we have the y-axis, which serves as the amplitude, as our displacement, and the x-axis serves as the time, it's the period. So because we are told that a time equals zero seconds, the object begins oscillating at y equals a. So this quantity, that means it begins, our cosine function begins at this point, zero comma a where A is the maximum displacement. So this is one full cycle. So it takes one period to complete one full oscillation, one full cycle. So notice at T divided by 2, at half the period, our object reaches the negative of this amplitude value as shown. Now to find the equation that describes the motion of our loudspeaker, the oscillation of our loudspeaker, we have to find what the A is, we have to find what the phase angle is, and we have to find what the angular frequency is. Well, the A that's given, the A is equal to 2 times 10 to the negative 4 meters, or equivalently, 0 0.0002 meters. Now, what about the phase angle? Well, because at time equals 0 seconds, the displacement is equal to the amplitude, we say that the phase angle is 0 because the cosine function begins at the amplitude. So that means our phase angle is equal to 0. Now, what about our omega? What exactly is the angular frequency? Well, recall that the angular frequency is equal to 2 pi times the frequency. So we know what the frequency is, it's 300 hertz. So that means we plug 300 and multiply that by 2 pi, and we get 600 pi radians per second is our omega. That's our angular frequency. So our equation goes from a general form to the following specific equation that's specific to this oscillating loudspeaker. So x of t is equal to 0. <clears throat> So, x of t is equal to 0 0.0002 cosine of 600 pi times t. So, if we plug in a time value, this will give us our position of the object with respect to the y-axis. So, let's look at part b. Find the maximum velocity and the maximum acceleration of our object. So recall the formula for maximum velocity is simply omega multiplied by our amplitude. So we know what omega is. Omega is 600 pi. 
So we have 600 pi multiplied by A, this quantity, and we get 0 0.12 pi meters per second is the maximum velocity reached during our oscillation. Now what about the maximum acceleration? Well, maximum acceleration is given by this formula. It's the product of the amplitude and the square of the angular frequency. So we have 600 pi squared multiplied by 2 times 10 to negative 4 meters and we get 72 pi squared meters per second is the maximum acceleration of our loudspeaker. Now let's go to part C. Find the position at time equals 3 seconds of our object. Well in part A we found our position formula with respect to time. So. That means if we take this equation and we plug in time equals 3 seconds into our t, we'll get our result, we'll get our position of our oscillating object. So if we plug in 3 seconds, we get 0 0.0002 multiplied by cosine of 3 times 600 times pi. So if we plug this into the calculator, we get 2 times 10 to the negative 4 meters is our position of the object at time equals 3 seconds. So that means at time equals 3 seconds, our object is somewhere here. It's on this level that corresponds to an amplitude of 2 times 10 to the negative 4, which is what our A is.